It's Wednesday, January 10th, and your stories today are Kodak tries its luck on crypto, TD Ameritrade appeals to millennials, and JP Morgan CEO backtracks his crypto stance. Hello world, welcome back to the comment for our first story. Yesterday, Kodak, the photography company, said it has used blockchain technology to create a new platform for digital photography. The network called Kodak One not only allows photographers to license their work and get paid more quickly, but will search the internet for unauthorized use of images. Kodak CEO Jeff Clark said in a statement, Kodak has always sought to democratize ph photography and make licensing fair to artists. These technologies give the photography community an innovative and easy way to do just that." End quote. That sounds all cool and appropriate for a company that focuses on photography. Yeah, but there's more. Kodak One will also have its own digital currency. They're calling it Kodak Coin. According to the company, Kodak One is a new economy for photographers to license their work and receive payments, which, you guessed it, will be in the form of Kodak Coin. It just so happens that shares of Kodak jumped more than 75% yesterday, right after the announcement. Embracing digital currencies and blockchain has become a surefire and controversial way for companies to rebrand themselves. But recently, it has also become a favorite tool of corporations to boost their share prices. In other news, investment service broker TD Ameritrade sees cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin as a great way to attract millennials as new clients. The company's chief market strategist says that the cryptocurrency market is providing a chance to bring in people who were traditionally not interested in trading. Millennials have been reluctant to get involved when it comes to investing. Apparently only one in three millennials is investing in the stock market. A recent study conducted by Ally says 70% of millennials say they know they will need to be more financially secure someday, but don't know how to get there. All right, millennials, it's time to put our avocado toast down and start investing. If you're worried about losing money in a bad investment, make sure you've done your research on the investment to begin with. Uh, you don't need to have tens of thousands of dollars to start investing. In fact, there's something called the 10% rule. Take 10% of your income and invest with that. Even if you can't take 10, starting with 5% is perfectly okay too. And finally, perhaps the most widely recognized Bitcoin critic, JP Morgan CEO Jamie Dimon confessed on Tuesday that he might have made an error in judgment when he criticized the Bitcoin believers. In an interview with Fox Business, Dimon expressed regret for his previous comments and said, the blockchain is real. I think he meant to say blockchain technology is real since there's more than one blockchain. But he should know blockchain technology is real because if you go to the JP Morgan website, there's a page dedicated to blockchain. It says, and I quote, the blockchain centers of excellence leads efforts for applications of distributed ledger technology within JP Morgan. We are exploring blockchain use cases and piloting solutions across business lines. We are active in the blockchain ecosystem, developing technology, investing in strategic partnerships, and participating in cross industry consortia, end quote. So now the question is, will Diamond resign from his position? because he previously said he'd fire anyone in his company who gave Bitcoin any attention. That's our comment for the day, but what do you think? Will Kodak fail miserably? Will millennials pick up a new catchphrase like, my investments on fleek? And how many I told you so tweets do you think Jamie Dimon is gonna get this week? Let me know, tweet at me, check back with us tomorrow, have a great day, and don't forget to leave a comment. Join me back here on the comment as I catch you up on the latest in Ethereum and blockchain. If you liked this episode, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. If you didn't like this episode, let me know by clicking the thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to make sure you get all the newest episodes of the comment as they air, click on that alert button. That's the bell looking thing right next to the word subscribe. If you missed our last episode, you can catch up on ethnews.com or on YouTube or just subscribe so you don't miss them anymore. Follow me on Twitter and on Instagram at ethnews. That's at Ethan Yusai, and we will see you next time.